In this video, we are going to change the font of your CurioBot. And we're going to do this by applying uh, several CSS settings that overrule the default font of your bot. Now, what I've done here is I went into the CurioBot control room and I've selected the start from scratch uh, template, which just consists out of the first yes, no step type. Um, uh, but I haven't altered uh, that, so we can go straight into the font. Now, what you will need uh, to do here is you need to go to the advanced uh, section and you need to flip on the two switches uh, that uh, say customize CSS for your bot. Now, you will find that there are two uh, blocks available and two switches. Um, the, uh, these are meant for different parts of the bot, being this one, the top box, is meant for the actual conversation, and the bottom one is to apply CSS rules for the landing page, the sticky avatar on the bottom right, and also the soft start. Now, what you see in here uh, um, uh, consists actually out of two uh, steps. Uh, one is uh, this one, which is the actual rule of uh, the font that needs to be implemented, um, which is slightly different from the top and the bottom. Uh, in the description, you find uh, this, you can uh, copy paste it. Um, and above here is what the actual font uh, looks like, so to speak. So if you uh, want to see how this looks, I'll quickly close the screen and go here. You can click preview. And then you'll see that there are fonts listed here that looks different and also the bot conversation itself. Now, if you want to uh, change this uh, font, you can simply go to fonts.google.com. And here I, for example, always like the uh, Montserrat uh, one. So what I need to do if I want to have uh, both the bot as well as the landing pages uh, being displayed in Montserrat, I click on the plus sign. I enlarge this one here. I select the URL that is visible here. I copy and paste it. And then this beautiful page applies. I select the entire thing. I copy it. I go back into the QB and I paste whatever I just copied above here. Make sure that you have this little character uh, here. And after that, I need to make sure that as soon as I remove the previous font name, I also enter Montserrat. This here needs to correspond with this one here. So if I click Save and I go on here, now refresh this. This is unaffected, but here you see the beautiful font Montserrat appear. So let's do exactly the same for the landing pages, Siki Avatar and Soft Start settings. This one is still in Kumar 1 outline. So I go to everything above here. I select it and I paste the Montserrat code that I got from this page. I change the name of the font right here. I click Save. I go to this one and I refresh. And if I'm correct, then also now the landing page fonts as well as the soft start appear in a beautiful Montserrat.